Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the graphics comparison preview of Rise Son of Rome, Xbox One versus, of course, the PC. I will be doing a full article of this over the next couple of days, along with Alien um, Isolation and a couple of other games. I know we're a bit behind, but it will all be done, I promise. Now, in relation to Rise Son of Rome, I'm playing on the PC settings with everything turned up to the highest apart from SSAA. I'm actually using MSAA instead for the simple reason that SSAA is just too good. It's super sampling after all. Um, I have to say that the PC version does look a little better. It's got obviously more graphic options. You can go up to 4K support. It does support 60 frames a second or higher, obviously depending on your system. So you've definitely got those advantages over the Xbox One. And of course, 4K dis display, if you've got the screen for it, looks amazingly gorgeous. With all of that said, however, it's not that Rise on the Xbox One is terrible in comparison, as you might already see. Now remember, um, Crytek did get a lot of flack when they announced the news that 900p would be the resolution for Rise Son of Rome on the Xbox One. I have to say that for the most part I prefer the PC just from playing it. I have played both versions, but in terms of pure graphics, yes the PC version looks better. Yes it does support better modes, um, for example high resolution, but it's not like the PC version makes the Xbox One look like it's playing on something like a Commodore 64. So the Xbox One version does do a fairly reasonable job. I will say, however, that the PC version in terms of controls, at least to me, because I'm not using Kinect and so on, definitely feels a lot more natural. Having to hold the button is a bit of a pain in the butt on the Xbox One, and I do overall prefer the way the PC handles. I even like the combat on keyboard and mouse, which was something that, to be honest with you, I wasn't really looking forward to. Overall, the biggest changes, of course, are increase in resolution on textures and so on, much better anti-aliasing, and overall a better and more stable frame rate if your system can handle it. And of course, lighting and all of the rest of it naturally uh, takes an increase from this, from this as well. As I said, there will be a much more in-depth analysis over the next few days, but for now, this is just a very quick look at uh, Rise Son of Rome, just so that you can get an idea of how the title stacks up. And I must say, the PC version does run pretty damn well, uh, even with SSAA enabled. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.